Hello brewers and lab nerds. Today I'm going to show you how to make an incubation chamber. You want to use this if you have made uh, petri dishes or uh, slants and you want to have a, a place where you can control the temperature and dry out the moisture that has uh, collected on the inside surface. So uh, that's one time. Another time would be if you're making a yeast starter and you want to have very accurate control of the temperature to maximize the um, yeast that you create in your starter. So here is basically what I've done. You just take a cooler like this one and you need to buy on top of that a temperature controller. This one is called STC1000 and it's very cheap, easy to wire up. Then I just got an extension cord that you can see here just runs to the wall and I cut the end off of that one and wired it up. You can look at the inside here. So that it's controlling, turning on and off a lamp on the inside. The temperature probe fr goes from the controller into a test tube that I have sitting over here with just water. That way you don't have great fluctuations in the temperature. Uh, next to the, the um, test tube that has the probe in it, you can see the test tubes, the slants from the previous videos, as well as the agar plates sitting on the side here. What you will also notice is that I have two just regular glasses here. One says cider and one says wit. And what I use those for is to do what's called a forced fermentation to uh, see how far I can expect a beer to end up what the final gravity is going to be essentially under ideal conditions. So every time I make wort to make a beer, I take one sample and I put it into the fermentation or uh, well in this case it would be a fermentation chamber but it's um, just really a way to control the temperature, make it really hot around 29 or 30 degrees Celsius and uh, that way getting the yeast to do maximum work and dry out the uh, wort uh, to the maximum and it would also go a lot faster than it does in the main fermenter. You can even pitch more yeast into these just to see how low you can make it go. But anyway, that's the entire setup. Again, temperature controller here goes into the STC, wiring goes into the STC 1000. The heating element is the only part that's hooked up, it goes to the light bulb. The cooling, obviously, you don't need it because it's going to be above room temperature at all times, so you only need to heat. Temperature controller over here to uh, just a test tube with water. And that's it. Please check out the links below to uh, see the wiring diagram for the STC 1000. And uh, please su subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos on lab procedures and other brewery procedures. Thanks. Cheers.